Hi guys, we're gonna pick up on the next step of making our slingshot, which is making a fixture for operation number two. As you can see, we got our slingshots done on up one. This is the slingshot from the video, and I didn't realize until I'd seen it. If you look closer at that radius, it was digging. It was digging into the handle, and that's because when the tap snapped it lift the material up a little bit and the second one that I ran off the camera the finish looks good so yeah we're gonna make a fixture I got all the tools ready I'm picking up my offsets right now Pretty cool using a probe, especially watching it run. And that didn't work. So we are doing our high speed hunter milling right now. going okay, better than the first approach. Next tool is a spot drill. Let's pop that in. Oh, we're not gonna run any more coolant from now on so you guys can better seal. tool drill for our 832 tip hopefully this time we won't break it I guess we'll find out then we're gonna finish our contours of those islands with a quarter inch end mill and after that we're gonna engrave the name so hopefully it all goes good oh. I had no idea what it was trying to do right now. Oh, I don't know what it was trying to do. It was, try it was trying to chamfer. Let me see if that's the case. Okay. I don't know if you guys know, but if you click on the line, on your screen, it's going to bring you to that line in the program. And we got feet of five here. Yeah, it was trying to do a chamfer around these islands right here. But I forgot to change my feet and speed. My mistake. Uh, let me fix that real quick. File, edit. Gonna go. Okay, um, speed 1500 it was. Yep, there it is. We're gonna delete that line. Close. Come on. We're gonna delete that line. And we should be good. Exit, reload. Okay, back to that tool. Tool 13. Set start line. Single block. Tool. Tool is clear. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a try. So, 832 tap is next. We'll see how that goes. So, that's a win. 
Next. We are engraving right now. I had to modify my G-code as I forgot to adjust my depth. Little mistakes like that when you rush. I'll see you guys once it's done. Here it is, all done. Fixture for operation number two. We got a tight fit on the part. But it sits nice and flat all the way around. It's gonna be held down by two, four, 832 screws. Oh no, it's not gonna come up. Come on. Uh, gotta prime it up. Jesus Christ. That is a tight fit. Okay. It's gonna be held down by two screws. And these posts are for clamps. When we have our part in. When I when I machine our original troublemaker, these two side pieces used to fly out and fly all around the machine. So we're gonna have two clamps that's gonna hold them down. Um, you guys gonna see that, see how that's gonna work in the next video. Just installing the clamps right now.